Now a total of four homes have been condemned here. The woman living in this home behind a gate says it hasn't been condemned yet, but it may never feel safe again. Another piece fell in like yesterday and you never know if another one's going to come over here. It's a moment Lorella's Prieto will always remember. I just kept hearing pieces falling and there was water and I saw a palm tree go down and I'm like immediately I was like I'm getting stuff out of my house because I didn't know how big it was going to grow, it was going to stop. The Land of Lake sinkhole swallowing two homes just a few doors down. And county officials confirming that sinkhole has grown by another 30 feet, making it about 260 feet at its widest point. Lorellis can't live in her own home. 200 feet away, there was this huge, massive hole that opened up in the ground. And in the middle of the night, you know, anything can happen. So. I'm, I don't think I'd be coming back. County officials say some of their equipment may have caused the additional collapse. The good news, they don't think this is an active sinkhole. Over the weekend, dozens of dump trucks bringing lime and boulders to steady the sinkhole. Crews even planning to create a boat ramp so a small barge can work from the inside. But right now, this site is a spectacle. It shows you there's not much to do at Land Lakes on a Saturday night. Neighbors coming to see the progress, bringing well wishes along. Just hope that they can get it fixed and people can get back home and their homes are safe. Crews are cleaning debris here throughout the weekend. They're expected back out here tomorrow. In Land Lakes, I'm Ashley Yor, ABC Action News.